Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I am playing a little catch up. I'm gonna be doing my March and April BoxyCharm unboxings right now. So I had started subscribing to BoxyCharm kind of as an experiment. If you've been following me, you saw that I was going to be subscribed for a year and I was gonna rate each box to see if it was really worth it for me. And I think that I chose the wrong timing for doing this little experiment because I'm still quarantining. I'm still working remotely. I'm not using beauty products like I used to use them when I used to, when life was normal. And I don't even know how the heck I'm gonna go back to normal. I don't know how to even like go out in public anymore, but that's a whole other topic. But um, anyway, so I feel like I should cancel right now because I'm not really using it and it's not boxy charms fault and then maybe revisit this experiment in I don't know four or five months when I am going out and I will probably well we will I won't be working remotely anymore but I'll also be on maternity leave soon after that anyway I'm pregnant again if you didn't know that so that's why I am a little backlogged and I have two months worth of boxy charm to unbox so we're gonna start with March so I didn't use any from my uh, February box and that was again just because I don't go anywhere so I can't really I can't really accurately rate these boxes to see how much how much of the stuff I'm using but here is my March box there's a quick little snapshot of what's in it and we will go ahead and unbox it so for the choice item I chose the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream Calming and Hydrating and it says that this is a $39 value. And the description is a soothing, lightweight moisturizer that seals in lasting hydration without clogging pores. It's non-comedogenic and non-acnogenic, making it especially good for sensitive skin. Blending with banana, chia seed, magnesium, turmeric, and sika. Sika. I don't know what that is. I will try to remember to put the definition across the screen. It's your recipe for hydrated, healthy looking skin. So this was the choice item and I don't remember what the others were. I'll see if I can find it and put it across the screen, but I don't know if that is on the website anymore. Um, I'll see. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. Usually with souffles, they're better for oilier skin, but hopefully this works. I have dry skin. I'm gonna smell it. it smells like banana cream pie. That's what I thought. So we'll see. Right now I like it, but a lot of times those food smells in cosmetics kind of start to irritate me, but we'll see if I like this. I mean, I do like go glow recipe. I've used one product of theirs. I used the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid and that's a really, really good hyaluronic acid. I feel like I'm crooked. Okay, that's better. Okay, so that's that $39 value. And then the next thing I got, <laughs> I think I got the same variation as my friend, which this would be the third time we got the same variation. We'll see. Um, okay, I got the Cab Lip Oil. That's what it looks like. And this is a $20 value and it says, say goodbye to dry and thirsty and hello to juicy hydrated lips. Your lips will love this non-sticky instant burst of hydration that comes in six different tints. Ooh, ooh. Swipe this formula on for comfortable juicy lips all day long. Oh, I don't, I wanna put it on but I have a lip color on and I don't like it. I really have a pet peeve of getting different colors onto the applicator so I'm, going to try this later. And if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of product review videos. I haven't done one in a while because I was feeling really, really, really crummy in my first trimester with this pregnancy, but I'm feeling better and better. So I should be able to pick up filming um, more and more. So the next thing I got is from the Beauty Crop. It's the Avocado Hydrating Eye Masks and this is a $18 value. These nourishing avocado and green tea infused eye patches will hydrate and depuff your tired eyes. Avocado moisturizers and moisturizes and targets dry skin while the green tea energizes and depuffs your under eyes. Say goodbye to stress, treat, and relax your under eyes. You deserve it. There you go. Um, so I'm not going to open this. This might go in a giveaway. I don't tend to remember to use eye masks, although when I do use them, they are lovely. Okay, and I guess this is the palette that I got. This is the Lime Crime Venus 3 Eyeshadow Palette, and it says it retails for $38. 
This palette is filled with rapturous lilac, rose gold, mauve, and earthly brown shades. Rapturous. The ultra buttery formula sweeps on richly pigmented color that doesn't fade or fall out. The dreamy lavender and rose gold box is graced with Venus herself. So there it is. That's Botticelli's Venus. And here are the colors. Again, this I might uh, put into a giveaway. So I will do a little rating of this box of what I would anticipate that I would use in normal everyday life. So it's a very neutral palette. It's like, you know, you have a little pop with these and then the shimmery gold, but fairly neutral. And then I got the Maven Rosewater Setting Spray. I'm not a big rosewater person, so this is a, it says it retails it for $22. Set your intentions and your makeup with this aura lifting antioxidant packed rose water setting spray. Mist all over your finished look to lock it down and prevent smudging for up to 16 hours. So that's what it looks like. Pretty simple packaging. Maven Beauty. It's not a very strong rosy scent actually. It smells like, um, it smells like subtle hairspray scent. I might give this, put this in a giveaway. So of this, I would give this a no, I might give this a three out of five. I probably won't use the palette just because I'm, you subscribe to these boxes and you just get onto palette overload. Um, and then, I, so that'll go on a giveaway. And then the eye patches, I might keep and try to use these. I'll see, I'll, I'll see if it goes in a giveaway. So I won't use the setting spray. I just have so many and I rarely need to use setting spray, especially these days. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this, I will use the lip oil at night eventually as like the moisturizer. And then I will use the banana um, moisturizer from Glow Recipe. And then I'm going to try to use these. So I will give this box a three out of five. They have, it has a good nighttime, or this would be more daytime, the eye patches, but good skincare, good skincare in this box. So that's March. We're going to go on to April. Oh, let's do some not so quick math and see how much this costs. So 38, 60, 99, and that would be $137 value on the March box for 25 bucks. That's pretty good. 25 bucks plus tax. I was so pleased to learn that you don't pay shipping with BoxyCharm. Okay, so now here is my April box. I feel like it came quite quickly. Here's a quick little glance at it. I know you can't really get much from it because I'm seeing that. But uh, here we go. I, I'm kind of excited to see. I don't even remember. I don't, I don't even remember what I picked. I was feeling so gross when I picked this variation. I, yeah, okay. What is this? This is the Eloise Get Gleaming Body Glow Eliminator. You know, I love the idea of these things. And I am gonna keep this because one day I'm gonna get into using them and wearing them. So this is by Eloise and it is a retail value of $38. This is a non-sticky and lightweight luminizer that can be applied to all areas of the face and body for a dazzling buildable glow. This transfer proof, ooh, we'll put that to the test, a formula. Um, I lost my place, is filled with ultra sparkly reflex to radiate your skin. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of pretty. Let's put some on my hand. Oh, my hand is so dry. Okay. So that's what it looks like just straight out of the bottle. And we'll let it dry and then I will see if I remember to test whether or not it's transfer proof or not. That's pretty. That's pretty. I rub that all over my legs wearing shorts. Oh, I have to. I've had the Ofra um, red carpet glow for so long and I've been wanting to do a review video on it. I bought it right before quarantine thinking, oh cool, summer is coming and I'm going to wear this on my legs. I just moved somewhere really hot so I'm always going to have shorts on and then we never went anywhere. Um, so that's what it looks like. I think that's kind of pretty, especially like like on your shoulder. Oh, I just love that look when you have it on your shoulders and your collarbone and 
and like you, if you go out for like a date night, how pretty. And if this is transfer proof, I'm really into this. I, I love this stuff. I want to get into actually wearing it myself. Okay, moving on. Sorry, I got a little stuck on that. The next thing is the Terra de Mars body cleanser. Oh, it's a body cleanser. Okay, so... This says it retails for $22, an organic, low foaming, aromatic, and soft cleanser suitable for all skin types. Infused with bioactive ingredients such as coffee and rosemary extracts, in infusion with verbena oil. Together they tone, purify, and protect the skin while aloe vera nourishes and softens it. Okay, um, I don't, I just use bar soap. I use a Dr. Bronner's bar soap typically. It smells like verbena, mainly. It smells a little bit like lemon pledge. I don't like it. I don't like lemon pledge smell. So we'll see. That'll probably end up in a giveaway. I don't know. I've never heard of this brand. Okay. And then this was my choice lot item. I forgot. Okay. I remember now when I'm seeing it. So this is the Studio Makeup Tinted Moisturizer. And it says it retails for $35. A tinted moisturizer with a light to medium coverage formulated with hyaluronic acid to combine hydrating skincare benefits with lightweight coverage and a glowy look. Um, we're just going to see. I'm not wearing any foundation or anything, so we're just going to see how this taps in a quick layer on my cheek with my finger. It has a very slight scent to it. Kind of beachy. Like, it's nice. It doesn't feel terribly sticky. I'm gonna see how that dries down as well. I have to remember to check back in about these things that we're seeing how they dry down. So, very, very slight coverage. We're gonna see how that feels after I open the last two things. Okay, and then I got some lashes. I don't tend to wear lashes either, so this might go into a giveaway. So these are the Monarch Lash Pack, and this is, these retail for $38. Whether you're transitioning into makeup or simply seeking an everyday comfortable glam lash, Baby Girl and Charmer are the perfect duo. Baby Girl is an angled lash perfect for achieving the iconic cat eye effect. Charmer is a round lash we created for an instant doll effect. Both are 100% silk and cruelty free. Apply your favorite pair with a lash applicator included in your kit. Maybe I'll hang on to these. These are really nice. They're cruelty free and silk. I'm gonna hang on to these and see if I can get myself to play with them. Maybe my husband and I will go on a nice date night. And then I got a Natasha Denona palette. I have been eyeing these palettes. I think it's one of those five ones. You know, five, this one. So I got one. Cool, and I've never had anything made by Natasha Denona. So that's exciting. Okay, I'm happy about this one, and it's a nice neutral palette. Okay, this one retails for $48, a special edition palette created exclusive, exclusively for BoxyCharm featuring Featuring five ultra-pigmented neutral cool tone shades in a range of muted browns with a touch of sparkling metal green tourmaline. This Description's long, so. Inspired by the Japanese meaning of Aya, meaning color and design, combined with Na, meaning elegance, elegant, graceful, and delicate. It's the perfect everyday palette to create sophisticated classic looks as well as evening looks with a super glam finish. Formulated with Natasha's signature, blendable, user-friendly formulas and the highest quality pure color pigments, dazzling chroma crystals and luminous pearls, suitable for every skin tone, cruelty-free and allergen-free. I'm excited about this. I've just heard wonderful things about her brand and I have never tried anything by her. So I will keep this one for moi. And let's see, what would I rate this box? So I don't like the body wash, but actually this might be my best box. I am excited about the tinted moisturizer. It's a little sticky. It'll need some powder. I really wanna find a tinted moisturizer that doesn't need that. I want to just be able to put it on like moisturizer with a tint and then that's it. I don't want to have to put powder on as well, but I do think it looks nice and I wonder how much powder it'll need. I've used some where I just need to pile on powder and it's like, what's the point? I might as well just put on a 
foundation. Okay, so I will use this. I'm gonna try to see if I can get myself to use this. I think my husband has mentioned that he thinks they do look nice, so I will see if I can maybe wear these on a date night or something. I'm, I'm excited to play with this palette, and then I'm excited to play with this. So this is probably my best boxy charm so far, and I give this one a four out of five just on opening. So, that's it. Let's see how this is working out. This doesn't feel transfer proof. Not transfer proof. <laughs> so <laughs> you can see that's definitely not transfer proof. So maybe I needed to rub it in more. Maybe give it the benefit of the doubt, but that didn't pass that test. But maybe I didn't rub it in enough. Maybe it was too thick of a layer. So yeah, so that those were pretty good boxy charm boxes. I got a three out of five for March and a four out of five for April. Now I'm starting to rethink, should I cancel? <laughs> I should probably cancel and revisit this experiment. I don't go anywhere. Um, if you are following me and, uh, and my wondering about how my pregnancy is going, I will do a little update. I am feeling better and better. I actually felt normal the day before yesterday, which was the first day since I found out I was pregnant. And that was such a relief. It was such a good feeling. I mean, three months of feeling like crap is really, really tiring. So um, I feel a lot better and I'm going to try to pick, keep picking up on filming. So I'll be 14 weeks tomorrow. Oh my gosh. It's going to be here before I know. It's, he's going to be here before I know. It's a boy. Oh, that's a big update. A gender reveal. It's a boy. I'm having another boy. So I will have two sons. And they are going to be troublemakers. I hope not, but I just kind of foresee a lot of, you know, broken bones and things like that. I hope they're best friends. They'll be a year and a half apart, so it's going to be, I, I'm really happy for both of them to have each other. Um, but anyway, so that's a really big update that I didn't even think of. So anyway, that's it. That's pretty much all that's going on though. Otherwise, same old, same old. I have, I got my first vaccine and I'm going to be getting my second one uh, at the end of this month. And then two weeks later, we are going to start doing, you know, takeout. We're going to be, feel comfortable getting takeout and probably gathering with our close family who's also been vaccinated. And I am Looking forward to slowly transitioning back to normal life. I, I hope, I hope it works out. You know, there's there are some new variants out there, but hopefully this this vaccine works against everything and it'll be, you know, this will all be a thing of the past at some point. So uh, anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. That's all I got. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.